These will now be the supreme manager eggs. These will be the oppressed working class eggs. They give it less than three generations until there's a socialist revolution. Okay, now can we separate the eggs from the whites from the yolks? <laughs> we will have a class stratified. We will have a class stratified society with our eggs. Damn it! She said separate the eggs, so we're going to have a class stratified society with the eggs. Those those that own the means of production and those that use the means of production. <laughs> Political revolution. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's close, but no Where, where are you trying to, to, to I, crack I the egg oven? <laughs> so I'm not going to crack the egg on any of your furniture, apart from Jeez. the table. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just juggle eggs for the rest of the evening, shall we? Put the white of the egg in that bowl. Are you being racist against eggs? We're not going to do it in a class society. No, no, no. We're going to do it in a racial method because that's the kind of egg. That's the kind of sweet making we're doing these days. Let's uh, see. White egg, yellow egg. Hope you're happy now. <laughs> <laughs> you can explain what you're doing in Swedish. <laughs> I could just say whatever I like. Anyone have no idea. Exactly, and then we'll add subtitles. <laughs> it will say something completely different. Man ska inte i äggskalet, inte det vita som spelas, utan det är själva äggviten. Lame egg. Det här kan ta ett tag. Man måste att hålla emot. Might want to fast forward this bit. Then I would take the lead. Now you have to speak Italian. Okay. We separate the album and the other two. We have different words to say for the black and white, the cross and the white. What should we call it? I'm probably going to be the one that will mess up. Hello. <laughs> I'm all nervous now. <laughs> and I've got a egg white all over my fingers. And fingers all over the egg egg, egg white. I'm gonna wash my hands. Yes. We have to mount the albums. Italian is easier. Exactly what he said. If they don't form themselves into soft peaks, try whipping them instead. If the whips don't work, then you may wish to invest yourselves in better egg whites. If your egg whites continue to scream, don't worry, that will stop soon enough. Because my mother was an egg white doesn't mean this, <laughs> this signifies nothing. I'm not trying to make my mother into desserts. My mother wasn't sweet, she was savoury. Yeah, it looks like a peak because it's soft. Yeah, it's not fine. It doesn't no, appear to be hard. What next That's what she said. Anyway, we need three quarters of a cup of sugar. But do stand. not put it straight into there. We are going to add it very gradually, one dessert screen at a time, while continuing yeah, to beat the whites of submission. I would like to quantify this as a third of a cup first. Uh, um, three quarters of a cup. cup. Three quarters of a cup. If we have a standard issue cup. We could use this as a standard <laughs> issue measuring cup, but if we do this then we <laughs> will get diabetes. Times 1.5. <laughs> Plus 62.5. I can't count. 187.5. Also because it's midnight, so uh, <laughs> we could just get a here. normal cup and, and estimate. We could, but well, I mean, this is 50, right? So, so you know, have an idea of this way. Huh? You are. <laughs> it's 
So that means we use one, two, three of these plus one, maybe half, half to. Because well, this is sticky. Whatever you do, don't put in too much sugar, it's all right? 3.75. <laughs> there is no such if thing as too much sugar. If this is 50, Wait, then it's 3.75. Huh? This is 50. Yeah. So, so this, this 3.75. This is it should be, a, it's a deciliter mug, so it should be 100 milliliters. I don't know why it says 50. So it should be 100 okay. milliliters. Oh, this makes life so much more complicated. Right, okay, so we need one it's, and some. It's one deciliter, so it's okay, cool. 50 is here, that's half of it. Uh, oh, okay. I would have thought. Me yeah, thinks. Yeah, but well that's that's quarter of a deciliter, that's half, that's three quarters, and that's a full. Oh, yeah, you flop the top. Yeah, and that's one. Six. You with me? <laughs> Not really, but I'll take your word <laughs> on me? it. Yeah, yeah, I'll take your word on that. <laughs> Just put lots of sugar in it, it'll be fine. This is what a day's worth of sugar has done to us so far. Are you really sure about <laughs> that? Oh, that's not Oh. Didn't bet that. One. Right. You know you want to. What? How much is it? Three and a half. You're actually less than two. So eighty-seven point five percent of this thing full. Um, it's eighty-seven point five percent of this thing full. That's less Looks. than one, and the last one was less than one, so I'm willing to roll with that one. There we go. Yeah, success. <laughs> That's all the sugar we're gonna have. Oh, I am yeah. disappointed. Oh, Add yeah. the sugar very gradually. Yes, master. One dessert spoon at a time, beating. The entire don't have the search ones in there. Hang on, I'll get the search ones. Oh, and that could have been, if I hold the cup, then someone else is no, going to have to put the... No, don't. We're going to have to figure out spoon. exactly how much a dessert spoon is <laughs> in milliliters and... Where should that standard more or less? Spawn me! Oh, that's a tablespoon, but it's close enough. Can put in here with a spoon? Huh? How gradually? Uh, one dessert like spoon at a time, and then you beat it a bit between between okay, the so dishes. Yeah, dessert spoon is like this one. Yeah, and you sprinkle it over the top of the of the egg white. You make sure that the sugar is beaten in before you add the next bit. It takes a very long time. How much do we have to beat it in? I mean, does it matter if it's just a little bit bruised, or should it be a bit more severe, or? I, I think you should make sure that it's unable to walk away. But it's, it's alright, I mean, we're, we're, we're already making sure it's successfully beaten. I mean, the reds already completely surround the whites, okay? <laughs> so, thankfully, the great Soviet revolution will not fail. Um, <laughs> what are the whites, exactly? Huh? Uh, the whites were the counter-revolutionary report of the anti-Bolshevik forces in the Russian Civil War. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Forewarned is forearm, or something like that. Or confused. Maybe the words. We'll go after them like Admiral Khrushchev went after the revolution. Um, <laughs> Organized on the Siberian <laughs> Railway. Um, <laughs> it's just knowing. Um, <laughs> and there is a glad there for the rubber wash from the combat. For there, brother fights brother, sister fights sister. But soon in future, all there shall be brothers. There shall be no fighting. As the great work of paradise shall come forth and give forth great bounty and produce. <laughs> Join the Red Revolution combo. See, we have surrounded the fight. Victory is on our side. Nothing will go pear shaped, that's good. <laughs> Dedication to the artistry of spreading sugar mm -hmm. upon the egg white is second to none. Note how carefully and generously he layers it upon the evenly the surface, <laughs> truly taking great a pleasure, not in just the deliciousness and the output it's of his done with pasta.
There is nothing wrong with making horrific jokes. As long as you're also making cake. Yes. If anyone thinks that I'm being somewhat discriminatory against socialists or Russia at this point, I will have you know that later on in the evening, this will take on the vein of a horribly overly nationalist like Little Islander. So don't worry, I'll be equally offensive to everyone. Have I mentioned that this dessert is named after a Russian? Huh. That was fine. That's actually quite <laughs> topical. Uh, <laughs> was he around in the Revolution War? It was probably a sheep. It was. It was Anna Pavlova, the ballerina. Hello, Hello. 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 Just pour it in. More. Oh. More. <laughs> More, master. More. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes, master. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Well, it's quite and gooey. Um, that no, after fine. that, I think I think the next thing is a pinch of salt. Um, but take that with a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna take the recipe. We are looking for an elephant. You can see a giraffe. All right, pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. That looks like a pinch of salt. Beat. Yes, yes, continue beating. Rub salt into the wounds and continue the beating. Yeah, you know, it was one while ago, there's me old matey, half-handed hook Harry, once rubbed salt into me wounds. It actually taught me how to be a better man. You know what it taught me how to be a better man? It taught me how to beat someone properly. For a start, you'll have to make sure there's not enough wounds when you rub salt in. The worst thing about rubbing salt in wounds is, you rub the salt in the wounds, it sterilizes them. So they don't get that lovely bit of gangrene afterwards. They got no fear in them, it don't. Right, so what do we have next? We, we need to add a teaspoon <laughs> of vinegar and beat it in. The Swedes will now keep <laughs> So, uh, oh, was it one tablespoon or what? Two, uh, two one spoon? teaspoon, I think. One teaspoon of vinegar. Oh, white vinegar. Broken, broken. Can you find She was probably insulting you. <laughs> Actually, he understood that perfectly because he was first <laughs> <laughs> That was almost obvious. <laughs> I figured. I thought it was not that hot. Vinegar. Just in here? Yep. Uh, well, actually, you're supposed to add it one drop at a time. I forgot to mention. One drop. Um, <laughs> yes. And same with the vinegar. But you've only got a quarter of a teaspoon of vinegar, so. That was the I'm sorry, sorry, the vanilla, the vanilla. The next attack. thing we need, <laughs> <laughs> next thing we need is a quarter, well, maybe read the instructions on the vanilla in case you want to add more. Um, but you add it one drop at a time, and beating the entire time. Do, am I, should I beat him, or who am I beating? <laughs> yes, you should beat, you should beat him, and... You should beat him. Couldn't bark, I've Quarter of a teaspoon of this. Yes, that's probably about. Well, maybe yeah. I don't know whether maybe your vanilla is is uh, needs that's more of it or something. But we'll see. It will be very exciting. Like, one drop at a time. It can be one very big drop. <laughs> <laughs> At some point we need to add a teaspoon of corn flour. I think that's the next thing. <laughs> Ready? 
That's all right. You need to make sprinkle, him walk in a plank. Sprinkle it gradually. That's right. We, we want to do everything you know, gradually. <laughs> Attacking the spoon. <laughs> yeah. That's no spoon. That's no spoon. <laughs> Is it being abused enough yet? Yeah. Well, is it glossy and does it stand when cut with a knife? Uh, it is glossy. I don't know if it stands when cut with a knife, <laughs> but given how much we've beaten it, I suspect the answer is going to be no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you now get a chance to try it. Well, let's go ahead and do we have a knife? No. The other way of testing it, um, which would be more fun, is you See, turn it upside down, down over somebody's it, head. Um, does anybody want to volunteer? Mm, I don't. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, oh, we could try with the knife um, first. So I just put it in. Yeah. <laughs> I think the the editor can spice it up. Okay. Like it works. <laughs> yes, it's the old chef you used to watch, you watch on TV shows, you have like a chef or gamer, so they're like, chef, is it done yet? Womp. I just went full of it. So now we need some baking paper. Oh, we were supposed to preheat the oven. Oh, crap. Um, uh, 120 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Yes, it doesn't do anything else. So. Now they say you're supposed to draw a circle. About eight inches in diameter, which is twenty-three centimeters, um, and then uh, as a guide. But you can just just put a whole big blob of white stuff on the paper, and it will work. Put it all in the middle on a big pile, and and describe what you're doing in Swedish, or or make up some jokes about us in Swedish. We won't know. Yeah. Yeah, can comment, comment in Italian. Yeah. Great. You must compliment, you must compliment the correct it. positioning and placement of the artistic value of the uh, meringue that's on the tray. This is when I'm going to drop the ball on top of everything. <laughs> no, you don't want to do it. And now I'll find no, I don't want to do it. I guess you're handing the door. What would you are you asking about making it? Uh, concave or? Um, well, the this recipe, um, yeah. the, the recipe I have says to make it concave in the middle. Uh, my mother says to make it convex, so I usually make it flat and draw a smiley face. Um, and it seems to work as long as the oven is the right temperature. You can do what you want, but probably not like that. Make it at least sort of a, a circular. I'm still into getting everything out of the I, I understand, stage. yes. <laughs> in the hot oven and we will leave it in there for an hour well actually we'll leave it in there all night so we'll turn it off after an hour um, I think it's supposed to be in the center of the oven if I remember yeah. correctly. I'm not even consulting the recipe anymore. And now we play glue for an hour. Yeah. Yar. You will need to, to add subtitles to this. Yeah, yeah, let it come. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the most colored things. 
Yeah. Uh, that mm. my life. Well, the pavlova mm. itself is 100% fat free. And the sugar, the, the fat, the <laughs> cream is 100% sugar free. So all together it's fat free. 100% fat and sugar. And we'll leave a little bit of extra cream in case anyone wants to add it. We'll just have to have a culinary I'm pretty sure I didn't say it may be it may be a bit sticky. Mm -hmm. But it should be okay. Your blood's on her back. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> this one's not filmed. <laughs> um I think it's not a good idea to frost it. <laughs> Uh, well, it is to eat a lot of it because it, it, it's very light. Curry. It's very light. Yes. Maybe in weight. That's what I should. Yeah. You fix the first bit, I understand. There is more bear and grass if you want. Yeah, no, I reckon with that oil. I reckon with that. <laughs> and so I was curious about your office mate because um, I, I go climbing with a Finnish guy and he's enthusiastic for doing, going to extreme places and demanding that there be a sauna everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a competitive sport for a start. And the idea, and the idea is, is it a sport? Yeah, and the idea is you have judges and you want to try and iron in the weirdest place possible. So you get things like people ironing over waterfalls, like they build like a little root bridge. Yeah, and I've seen them ironing on windsurfers. Yeah, ironing on surfboards. Uh, the best one I've ever seen is a guy, is a guy doing wingboarding and he's strapped an ironing board to the top of the wing. And so he's like ironing. from the Gulf War, where um, it looks like the first proper mechanized war that the Americans have had in ages. So they're like really gone over, hoping all their training are going. So they had this thing, they had like perfect like driving tanks there. There were some tanks flanked the other people. And they had like this massive number of cases of friendly fire where they shot. You know, maybe the third. There'll, there'll be fast. a fight over the third yeah. helping. <laughs> I'm going to cheat. Not <laughs> fair. Mm. 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 Yeah, mm. Oh, I know. Oh, my. Don't go there. Don't go Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go I wish you didn't record well, it. Is may as well say guess. every stupid, funny thing you can think of. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be tough deciding what goes in the outtakes and what goes. I mean, in the, the cup video. is not meant. Oh, now I'm just messing it up. Why am I doing this? Okay, say something for the blooper reel. Um, we've hidden the body well. So please don't take out my citizenship shit. Because of this. Because this is Pitler's like, it's cut, it's cut, so it's gross. I might actually enjoy this. It's like when it flops down, so you can't see, but it's too short to tie back. Also, I'm saying that in English, so. 
Hmm? Yeah, nobody will understand yeah, your inner child. They won't understand you it anyway. You can sell <laughs> How could you understand that? It's past the cooking milk. It makes perfect sense. Doesn't you understand? That would make sense to, to Italians. So. so now try it. Oh. It's a bit heavier than ordinary pasta, just yeah, for that reference. Gets so. Which pound of milk would you stand a thousand pounds? Than you would normally take. <laughs> That's good. It's more or less like pasta with cream. Also. Only with pasta, much more like oh. soft. Yeah, well, <laughs> I think it's the word you're looking for. Gum like. 